So uh, what I want to share with you are two demonstrations of how clouds form. So in the first one, I've got this uh, 2000 milliliter graduated cylinder. I think anything, a really tall transparent vase uh, glass container would be fine. Uh, the taller, the better. So it's right now got about 500 milliliters of hot water at the bottom, not boiling, just really hot uh, tap water. And um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna I'll light this candle and let that start uh, burning. And we're gonna lower the candle down inside the graduated cylinder. So this is just a coat hanger that I cut open. And so, uh, we'll lower this down. This is a tea light, and the nice thing about using a tea light is they float. So if we lower that carefully, there we go. All right, and so um, the candle is gonna do two things. One, uh, it's gonna heat up the air in there a little bit, and the other is it's gonna provide, when we blow it out, we're gonna get smoke, uh, and that'll provide the uh, aerosol particles around which the cloud can form. So we've got that. Um, and the other thing I have is a glass bowl of ice. And the size of this is such that it'll nest in the top of the graduated cylinder. So um, I'm gonna blow out the candle. And then I'm gonna put the ice on top. And what we'll see, and I'm not sure it'll show up on the camera, but um, when we look up here, um, and again, I'm not sure if it shows up, but I can see uh, clouds forming, condensation forming on those smoke particles uh, up here at the top of the graduate cylinder. When we go down lower, um, you, again, it's, it's much clearer down here. There's probably some, a little bit of clouds, uh, wisps wafting down there, but, but really the, the most dense cloud is up here at the top. Uh, and so what I like about this is it kind of shows us that, I mean, assuming that the, the amount of water vapor is constant throughout this whole air above the, of the, the water, um, that where clouds form depends on temperature. So obviously we need the smoke particles, um, but we're gonna get denser clouds up here because the cool air can hold less water than the warm air. So um, the water condenses on the the smoke particles at the top more than it does on the smoke particles at the bottom. So again, I'll, I'll get... all right, so this is a second demonstration you can use to show formation of clouds. And so for this one, we have a two liter soda bottle, uh, again, filled with hot tap water at the bottom. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do on this one um, is cap the bottle and just shake it a little bit. I think that adds some water vapor to the air, increases the amount of water, water vapor in the air. And just like before, uh, we need some smoke particles around which those clouds can form. So for this, we're going to have, we have this little wooden dowel. And we're going to burn that for a moment. And then we'll, uh, we'll use this to add smoke to the inside of the bottle. So blow that out and just kind of let that smoke collect inside the bottle there, like that. And so for this, now I'll put the cap on the bottle. And there's a little condensation on the edge of the bottle, but you can see um, no clouds in the bottle. And I, I squeeze the bottle like this. And when I let go, you can see clouds form inside the bottle. So I squeeze, clouds disappear. And when I release, clouds form inside the bottle. Um, what I like about this one, kind of doing this one after this one, is in, in the graduated cylinder, we saw that clouds formed in the cooler air. So in the warm air down here, we didn't get very thick clouds. Up here where it was cooler, where air could hold less moisture, we got clouds forming. Uh, the same thing's happening here, right? When I squeeze the bottle, uh, we're increasing the pressure inside the bottle. And when I release, the, the pressure drops and the clouds form. That's because pressure and temperature are connected. So when I squeeze, I actually increase the temperature. When the pressure goes up, the temperature goes up. And when I release, the pressure drops and the temperature also drops. Uh, and then the, the air can hold less water and we get clouds forming. Um, so this is kind of a nice um, way to start to talk about that as, as air masses rise and the air pressure on them decreases, they expand. Uh, and when they expand, they cool off and then clouds form up at altitude. So same amount of moisture in the air as it rises, but the clouds don't form until a certain altitude 
because that's where the temperature has dropped, the temperature of the air mass has dropped to the point where the air is saturated. So I think these two can together kind of give a good demonstration of cloud formation and um, we kind of lead to an understanding of how clouds form outside.